Hi, I'm Sarah. I live in Arbutus with Kippy for the last four years. I'm the house leader. Kippy is such a great guy. He's so fun. I'm um, Eric Dio, uh, Kip Dio's brother, who's been at Camp Hill uh, uh, since the '60s. It took it took a long time to uh, finally find a place that, that my parents felt secure with that Kip could spend you know spend his life. Living in any house in the village is uh, a life-sharing experience for everybody involved. Mm -hmm. He's now been at Arbutus for, has to be 10 years at least. And he just brings so much light and warmth into the house just by being himself and just laughing or just goofing around. He's just like the, the main presence of the house. He's getting older, but we still get out there. We go on like small hikes and go to the beach and... The Lake Taconic. He gets around. He goes to a lot of the the gatherings. He's such a great guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I remember the first time we visited Copake, and it was just it was a matter of a few barns, one house maybe on the entire property. And the way we learned about Camp Hill was uh, through a column that my grandmother saw in our local Poughkeepsie Journal written by Eleanor Roosevelt. And that's how we uh, got turned on to Camp Hill. Oh, it was just a great discovery to uh, come across a place that, you know, you knew, you felt safe that Kip would be able to spend the rest of his life at. He's been at the wood shop for forever by now, but... He was at the Weavery at one point. That so social interaction that he's had all these years. I know he likes to go down to the cafe and spend time there with, you know, there's always many people there during the day and, and they all know him and vice versa. So we're just very grateful for the fact that Camp Hill came into our lives. It's just been a great experience for over 50 years. I think, um, do you... <laughs> He's always like...